Hi guys, Fabio Bonanno, Smart Tech Sponsored Athlete and NBR Contributor. Today I am addressing natural bodybuilding. So firstly, what is natural bodybuilding, right? My definition is lifestyle. I'm going to put that up there. Lifestyle is how you go about living your daily routine. If you want the body you want naturally, then you have got to make some sacrifices. The definition of natural bodybuilding on the internet, I've got it written here, is a practice or participation in bodybuilding competitions without the use of banned substances, most commonly referring to the use of illegal performance enhancing drugs such as anabolic steroids, which is the obvious one, human growth hormone, insulin and exotic plant extracts, such as tribulus terrestris, or to an extent I've found from previous competitions, geranium root, which is a plant extract again. And you wonder why a plant root is illegal, but we're talking about com competition here, it's on the shelf, but you'll find that in Jack 3 d So if you guys are doing competitions, then just watch out before. Um, you need to kind of stop taking that Jack 3 d Anyway, natural bodybuilding, all about sacrifice. My definition is healthy diet, train, get your ass in that gym, hardcore, get the headphones in, who gives a fuck what everyone else is doing, you do your thing, get get yourself in the gym, get out, get the right food, right recovery. Um, people say supplements isn't natural. I've seen a question, I think it was two or three days ago, um, guys, is supplements natural? I don't think it is. Me personally, I, re I don't rely on supplements, but they are called supplements for a reason. If somebody's asking me about protein, fat burners, creatine, all this, I'll tell them they do work to an extent. My personal belief is they make 5-10% of a difference, only if your diet and recovery is spot on. Guys, if somebody's going home and eating shite, I'm not going to tell them to get whey protein, whey protein casein protein, creatine, L-glutamine, we can, the list is endless guys, the amount of supplements out there is incredible, so really how deep are your pockets? But as I said, we need to be eating healthy if we want to get the body we want. None of this cake nonsense. Guys, I love cake. Everyone loves cake. You're, you're not sane if you don't love cake. Chips, pizza. Guys, I, I can eat that all day if I wanted, but we need to sacrifice these things, right? You don't get the body you want by eating all that crap. So you've got to cut that out of your life. Don't buy it in the house. Make sure it's not in the cupboards, guys. It's too easy, right? If you've got Jaffa cakes in the cupboard, guys, you can sit in front of the TV, watch whatever you're watching. You can rattle through a pack of Jaffa cakes and there it goes. That's, I don't know how many calories, three, four, five hundred calories. And it is shit calories. So you're not getting anything you need, right? All you're getting is a five minute satisfaction and then after that you feel guilty. Whereas guys, you could have done that, drank some water, filled the, the gap in your stomach. That's healthy, maybe even got a protein shake. Guys, as I said, you've got to be aware. Set yourself goals and aim for those goals. It's a journey guys. You're going to be going towards this journey. There's going to be challenges. I mean, guys, anything worth getting is not easy. So keep on top of it. Anyway, I'm going off track. Natural bodybuilding sacrifice, stay on top of your diet, on top of your training and rest, recovery, if you can get 8 hours sleep a night, great but the natural human growth hormone levels are produced between 7 and 9 hours sleep a night ideally I would get that every single night but if you've got a life it's not going to happen um, so we've cleared up the definition of natural bodybuilding as I said diet, clean eating don't put the stuff in the cupboards that you're going to be tempted by. If your cupboard's full of goodness, for talking sake, nuts, your fridge is full of chicken, meats, you've got good carbs, so oats, sweet potato. Um, I personally, I'm trying this now, the gluten-free option, so my oats are gluten-free. You pay crazy prices for them, but again, guys, it's sacrifice. You pay a wee bit extra to get that body you want. Uh, you're eating to fuel your body, so... After a workout, you take in the right nutrients um, and that's providing your body with exactly what it needs. Again, we don't eat for enjoyment to an extent. We don't want to be getting too boring because, guys, most of my diet 
oats, brown rice, chicken, veg. It could get a bit boring, but guys, get creative. You can put different oils on it, spices. I put, personally put chilli on it, Chinese five spices. Depending if you're pre-contest or not, then you need to watch out. But guys, all these things make the difference. You can get different flavours, chilies. It makes a big difference because if you're eating the same thing day in, day out, I'm not saying you're guaranteed to fail, but it's going to be a lot harder. It depends how strong you are up here. So as I said, try and be consistent, but don't kill yourself. Allow yourself that cheat meal every four or five days, whatever. Um, it just depends how much you want that goal. If you want those abs, guys, you have got to give up that pizza. You've got to give up that drink. I drink... I don't even know how I drink. I mean, pre-contest, I went four and a half months without a drink. Um, but most of the time in general... I'm drinking once every month. Guys, I've been there, I've partied, I've drank my liver into a bloody. It's not healthy, but you feel like crap the next day, you eat crap the night, you enjoy yourself, get yourself a hold of a, a girl. But guys, curls for girls, right? That's what gets the girls. Abs, right? Guys, it's all about the body. Uh, girls don't want a fat alcoholic, do they? They want somebody who's shredded to their bones. So that's what you guys are doing. You are sacrificing... That alcohol, I'm not saying all the time, right, because we do like to enjoy ourselves, but you're giving that up so that you can get the body you want and the girls come easy. Um, we're going to address the steroids now. <sighs> steroids basically help you recover quicker. That's my personal opinion. So these guys on steroids, you ask the question, you're on steroids, you've got a good body. No, I've been consistent for years. Listen, I've been training... I used to play basketball, but seriously for two years, but I've been in the gym for eight years. So that's an eight-year journey, guys, to where I am just now. And I've got another eight years, and then another eight years. Guys, it's constant. It never ends. Excuse me. But the steroids gets you quick results, but that's all it is, guys. You stop taking those steroids, those results go. Because if you develop habits, get that lifestyle, then you're going to have that body you want, and it's going to be easy because it is natural to you. Natural, there it is again. Guys, stay on top of your game. Uh, as I said, consistency is the key. Be consistent. Get your food ready every day. Get in the gym. Smash it. Get your goals set. Write down your workouts. Everything is about progression. You need to have something on paper so you can follow something. If you don't have anything on paper, what are you doing? You're wandering about aimlessly. You go in the gym. You do a few sets of bicep curls. You do a few chest presses. You walk out, you think, oh, that was kind of a good workout. That's not going to get you where you want to be. So, guys, take advice. NBR are great. I'll give you as much advice as I can. Uh, I feel I'm rambling a little bit just now, but um, I'm here to help you guys. So is everyone else on the forum. Guys, we're a community. It's a lifestyle. We sacrifice ourselves so we can help others and get the body we want. Uh, the social life sacrifice I've covered that with the alcohol not saying you can't go out guys I go out drink four or five bottles of water I'll have my protein shake before after so guys I'm not missing out I'm still having a good time um, everyone's jumping about like idiots don't get me wrong I'd love to do that uh, might jump around with them but I've got a conscience so I can't go as crazy as I want uh, but at the end of the day it's a matter of pride somebody asked me if I'm on steroids no, I pride myself on that. Guys, if I took steroids, I'm sitting there doing those exercises in the gym. I'm looking good. Is that me or is that the steroids? So I don't need that psychological fuck up, right? Um, I'm going to go in the gym natural, keep on putting in the work, keep on doing those squats, keep on doing those bench presses, and I'll get the results I want eventually. Guys, hard work always, always, always pays off. Eh... Uh, Anyway, I think I've covered it, guys. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're going to ask the question if somebody's on steroids, look at their lifestyle. I mean, there's loads of fitness models out there. They're getting asked the question all the time, are you on steroids? Guys, their job is to be a fitness model. So, of course, they're going to be looking good, right? Steroids, they wouldn't be where they are if they took steroids. You get that many people in the gym who are taking steroids. They're just guys in the gym. They're gym rats. I'm a gym rat, but... I've got a lifestyle, I've got pride. I would never take steroids, ever. I don't care what state I'm in. Guys, I've got the body I want, as I said, an eight-year journey, and it's easy. Guys, I love going in the 